Do we live in a way where our constant attention is focused on our Heavenly Father? Our verse today comes from James 5, 13 through 14, and it says this, Is anyone among you suffering? He must pray. Is anyone joyful? He must sing praises to God. Is anyone among you sick? He must call for the elders of the church, and they are to pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. And that's from the Amplified Version. Now, it's easy to read that verse and say, well, sure I do that. Of course I pray when I'm in trouble. But let's go the next step with it and take it a little bit deeper. Think of a child and their behavior. When they're in trouble, they run to their parents. When a child is excited about something, they run to their parents. And when they're not feeling well, well, what do they do? They run to their parents and they snuggle in close to be cared for. Now think of your behavior or your relationship with your Heavenly Father. When you, when I am in trouble, do I run to my Heavenly Father? When I'm happy about a situation and joyful about a situation, do I run to my Heavenly Father? I'm going to stop right there before we go on to the next part. And I want us to think about how easy it is to call on God when we're in trouble. We have a tendency to shoot these quick arrows of prayer to God and say, Lord, I need this. Lord, fix this. Lord, I don't know what to do. But when we take our prayers the next step deeper and they're more heartfelt because our constant attention is on God, he hears our prayers, yes, through the quick fixes, but he also hears our prayers when they're more heartfelt. Lord, I really need direction and your guidance in this situation that I'm facing. God, I need your wisdom in this situation. God hears those prayers. Yes, he's there for the quick fixes as well, but he's not just a Santa Claus. He's our Heavenly Father who wants to be there and who is there for us in times of trouble. Now let's go to the other side of that. And I think this is actually a little bit harder. When we're happy about a situation, do we constantly thank God and praise God with, as scripture says, with hymns and psalms of praise? Of course, we do the quick, thank you, Lord, that the sun is shining. And it's easy to say, thank you, Lord, that I've got a warm home. But do we take the time to say, thank you, Lord, for the answered prayer that you continually answer for us in this situation? That the things we prayed for when we were in trouble, that we thank God on the other side of them for the answers to those prayers. I know it's something that I have to work on, and it's something that I need to do from time to time, is to remind myself, is to constantly keep my attention on God. Now let's look at verse 14. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them, and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. This verse I love. I love the visual effect of people coming together, praying together over someone who is sick. And I have had the privilege of being in a small group with people where this has taken place, where we have come together and we've put someone in what we call the hot seat and we lay hands on someone and we say, Lord, this person needs healing in this situation. Lord, this person needs an answer to prayer in this situation. And when we are unified with our hearts in prayer over a situation, God is there. God hears our prayer. And it's important to take this verse, not just as words in God's word in the Bible, but as a way to live our lives, constantly focused with our attention on God. So wrapping up, our constant attention needs to be on our Heavenly Father, whether we are in trouble, whether we are happy, and even if we're sick, it all comes back to God. Let me flip over to Colossians 3, 16, and let me read for you real quick from here, because I think this takes it to the heart of what the scripture really means. 
Let the spoken word of Christ have its home within you, dwelling in your heart and mind, permeating every aspect of your being as you teach and admonish and train one another with all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Let your constant attention be so focused on God that it permeates your soul. So whether you are in trouble, pray. Whether you are happy, sing psalms of praise to God. And when you are sick, call on your friends and the elders of the church to come anoint you with oil. So as you go forward this week, let me encourage you to do just that. Keep your constant attention on God. And whatever comes your way, he will be there to help you. If you are interested in being in a small group here at Waypoint, reach out to Pastor Sharon, and she would be happy to help you find a small group where you can feel connected. It's so important to have friends around you to help you grow spiritually and to pray over you in difficult times. So contact her, Sharon at waypoint.org. I know she'd be happy to talk with you. Have a great week.